Lori, over to you. Oh, okay. Well, thank you all for coming to this webinar today. I think you'll find it very educational. We have a great speaker who has been an SCC volunteer for many, many years. Um, I've had the privilege of working with her in several chapters and six. Uh, Vicki will be going over the process for applying for the CAA. And I think she's got some very good slides here. Um, and um, so she's um, going to give us all the um, information that, that we need to clarify the process and make a successful application to the CAA, which um, all communities are encouraged to consider applying for. Um, <clears throat> we will have questions um, after Vicki does her formal part of the presentation. You are welcome to post questions in the chat. We will be monitoring the chat. And um, so, you know, if you have questions, just feel free and we will take as many of them as we can, you know, after the um, formal part of the presentation, you know, just no question is, is irrelevant or, <laughs> you know, anything. So just ask away. And so, uh, a recording of this webinar will be available afterwards, and so we hope that will be with, helpful to you. So, um, oh, and yeah, once Vicki starts her presentation, please do um, put yourselves on mute, those who are not assisting in the presentation. And you might want to turn your cameras off as well. You can turn them back on um, after we end, you know, do the formal part of the presentation. So, Vicki, the floor is yours. Um, we're looking forward to learning lots of great stuff about the CAA. <laughs> well, thank you, Lori. And thank you, Erin, for setting it up. And thank you for everybody who is attending today. And thank you for people who are watching us later on um we're really just glad you're here the reason that you're here i am so proud of all of you because we care about our communities and we care about our profession and this is very much an organization and especially this uh, community achievement awards and pay setter awards very much run by volunteers and i would just say thank you for everything that you do we are so proud of each and every one of you we're proud of our communities and we're proud of the work that we've done we're proud of our profession and i just i love you all big just want to say that at the top um and that is why this award program is one of my favorite things at STC because we get to celebrate you and we celebrate your community and we celebrate the awesome things that you've done. And if you are you know, in the camp that doesn't often submit a CAA because you think that, oh, we haven't done anything, do it anyway, because it's a good way to archive what you've done in your community. And let's say you didn't do a whole lot in the calendar year 2022, but what if you do a whole bunch in the calendar year 2023, and then you could be the most improved community. So it's never a waste of time, I think, to sort of take stock and celebrate the things that we've done and the things that we are and the value that we bring to our profession. So that's my little commercial for Please participate. Uh, please love STC and all of the things that we do as much as I do. So there's my little commercial. So I am Vicki Dill, and I have put in my Zoom name that I am the CAA and Paysetter Jedi. So I want to just pass that on, and you can be a Jedi too. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot. It just takes little enthusiasm and a couple of hours. And that's one of the things I want to talk about today because we're calling this presentation, Keep It Simple. We know we got a lot of feedback and I've participated in um, a, a few CAA committee, um, a CAA submissions over the years. And it 
seems like this big mountain that we have to climb, right? Oh my gosh, we have to start at the beginning of the year. And oh my gosh, we have to, you know, document everything we've done. And I want to encourage you to keep it simple. And there's a couple of ways that we have redesigned the program or just sort of added different suggestions for the program to make it simpler for you. So that this year when you're in your leadership meetings or you're you're communicating with the people in your community and you say, hey, I need some help with the CAA, you don't get crickets. You know, we want people to know that it's not going to be this Herculean effort and every moment of it is going to be a joy because you're going to be celebrating uh, your accomplishments and the things that you've done in your community. So keep it simple. And the theme is one, because I believe if we only have to do one thing. It's a whole lot easier than if we have to do a mountain. So the first change that is one is actually a su suggestion that we're making based on some of the submissions I saw last year. Last year, I wasn't... Uh, the Jedi for the CAA, um, but I did serve on the CAA and Paysetter Committee. Uh, Roger Renteria did a really good job of running that committee, and he showed how to do it with grace and keep things simple. And several of our communities, instead of submitting, you know, a whole folder with like tons and tons of uh, backup evidence and everything having to be formatted with the specific uh, naming convention, uh, there were a couple of communities that just submitted a Word file. And in that Word file, let's take a look at the application so you can see what I mean. Let's see. Yep, that's what I want. And if I can get Zoom to cooperate with me. So here's what the application looks like when you download it, right? It's a Word file, Word's friendly, we love it, we hate it, and you won't have any trouble filling that out. And this will be sort of the contact information, you know, who are you and uh, how can we get in touch with you, that kind of thing. And then there's the required things. These are just the same as last year. In fact, all of the categories and all of the line items are exactly the same as last year. And this talks about how to submit and we'll go into that in a little bit of detail in a minute. But you can see it's just a table, right? Word, it's Word. We know Word. And so when you get to the show us, then like, let's say you want to send us a, a picture. All you have to do is just drag that picture in or use your insert in Word and do that picture. So that way, when, um, let's say there's several of us that are working on this particular submission, then they can just open up the Word document and look for blank spaces. And then when they get to a blank space, they say, well, yeah, I think I can prove that. I think I've got a screenshot. I think Vicky, I've got a I hate, Vicky, I hate but to interrupt, but I, I, don't see your, I don't see your document. All I see is your slide. Oh, oh, hey, good, good interruption. Uh, let me stop sharing. You get to be my hero for the day. Let's, maybe I need to share my whole screen. All right. Tell me you can see my Word document. Yep. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, I apologize for that. Um, I was trying to be a smarty pants and apparently I'm not good at that. So anyway, here's the, when you download the Word document, this is what it'll look like. Um, if you want to use the same one that you used last year, that's fine too, because as I said, categories and line items are the same. The references are the same, that kind of stuff. And all you have to do is load in the information that we're asking for show us you can put in pictures uh if you have four different events you can put in four pictures or you could put in your sign up page you can have a link to your event right but you don't have to overdo it just put everything in the word document if that's the way that you choose to do it so let me go back let's make sure that i know how to do this there we go now hopefully you can see my slide again 
Okay, thank you for the thumbs up. All right, so you're encouraged to submit your application if you care to as a single file. Uh, that'll make it easier for you, easier to email. Um, if you still want to, you can still submit your evidence the same way that you did last year. I don't want to put any additional stress on you. If it's not easier for you to submit one Word document, that's fine. We'll take whatever you have. But the objective here is to make the submission and the review e easier for you and easier for us, easier for communities and easier for the CAA committee. I just got a message that my internet is unstable. I hope that you guys can still see and hear me. I'm going to assume that you can. So uh, the second thing we just talked about that it, you can submit one word file and you can submit one piece of evidence for all of the items that we're asking for. Um, last year when I reviewed some of the CAA submissions, we noticed that communities are really nervous that they're not going to get credit for the item. And so they would over uh, over submit the supporting evidence. And we want to let you know, if you submit something, we believe you. You don't have to put three or four things just to prove that you've done one activity. We believe you. We know that you have integrity. That's part of what I believe we've got a code of ethics for STC. I know we've got a code of ethics for our summit. We believe you. If you say something, we're going to believe you. So you, if you choose to put a lot of evidence in, that's fine. That's probably good for your records. But don't sweat about having to prove and thinking that you're not going to get the points. Um, because if you say you did it, we're going to believe you. You have the evidence. So don't sweat it. Keep it simple, right? Uh, the third thing that's, that is a little bit different on this year's form, last, last year's form said uh, that we want you to submit any activities completed. Um, I realize this is kind of a small thing. Maybe it's a little word nerd thing, but this year it just says activities. If you have activities in progress and they're not quite completed, submit them anyway. We, we want you to get credit for the work that you've done not necessarily for crossing the finish line on each of your events. So go ahead and submit and we will count all those for you because we just want to celebrate what you're doing. You know, we want you to tell us about it. We don't want you to hold anything back. And then once you've told the committee, then the committee's going to do the write-up and we're going to give out awards and we're going to recognize you and you're going to have to share your superpowers with the rest of us because everybody wants to learn from each other in this thing. We're in this together. So again, one document, one piece of evidence, and anything you worked on is fine, whether you've completed it or not. Maybe this is a good place to stop and see if there's any question about CAA before we move on to Pace Center. I have one. Uh, yes, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was wondering, uh, last year we, uh, we were required to do, uh, I don't know if it was a requirement, but we were supposed to show a, like a, a list of attendees and a photo of the group for a webinar or we, like we do the first Fridays at five. So has that changed? Can we just do one or the other? Can we just yes. do like, like for instance, uh, like the advertisement for the the, the webinar okay yeah. or just the link to the eventbrite if that's simpler okay um, if you want to show us a picture we would totally love to see the picture you know that okay um, <laughs> but but you don't have to and that puts that takes pressure off of you while you're running the webinar oh my gosh did i get pictures did i down remember to download the attendees and all that stuff we don't want you to sweat about it. We want to keep it simple. We want to encourage, you know, reward you for the activities that you've done and for documenting the activities that you've done. And also encourage other people when they see, oh, this is not this big mountain that I have to climb. And, you know, this is not going to take me days and days and days uh, 
to encourage the other members of your community to help volunteer. So thank you. Simple. We believe you. <laughs> we do. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> All right. Well, does anybody else have some CA uh, Community Achievement Award? I've come to understand that I'll, us constantly using the acronyms is sometimes a little bit exclusive to new people. So I want to make sure that when I say CAA, it's Community Achievement Awards. And we've got so many acronyms here. We've got the DCSA, and it's sometimes a little bit hard to keep all of our awards uh uh, unique so this is the communities achievement award well in that case let's talk about the pace setter i have much less to say about the pace setter and it looks like i should share my whole screen so that i don't make the error that i had before there we go so with the pace setter it's the same as last year um it is a google form you can find the link to it on the stc.org website. I'll show you how to find that in just a second. And the main thing that we're looking for for Pace Setter is that you document enough so that your idea and your initiative will be something we can pass on, right? The whole idea of Pace Setter is that one community runs out, but the rest of us run behind them and whatever your superpower was, whatever exciting thing that you learned to do that the rest of us can learn from, uh, the, the rest of us can learn from the superpowers that you have. And so that's basically what the pace setter is about. I am, ah, perfect. I'm reading through the chat and I appreciate that I goofed up with not sharing my whole desktop. Thanks, everybody. And Laurie says uh, that she wants to mention before we exit that the CAC Open House oh, is scheduled for the 14th of December. So we can sign up for that, which is another great thing. Another good excuse for us to get together as leadership in STC. And by leadership, I don't mean necessarily the people whose names are on the website, but if you do anything, then you're definitely a leader. Uh, if you do things for the profession and for the community, you're definitely a leader. And we're really proud of you. So does anybody have any questions uh, about the pace setter before we go on to the contact information? And then I'll do a, a quick little tour of the stc.org websites just so, to make sure that you can find all the information that you need. Questions about the pace setter? All right. Are there any other questions that anybody has um, about either the C? AA application or the pay set awards. Um, just ask away. No, it's, everything was pretty clear. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so we'll just wait another second here and see if anything pops up in the chat regarding the CAA or the pay setter. So far, we're we're not seeing any other questions in the chat. Um. So last call for questions. Um, otherwise, we can wrap it up. And I, I have a question, uh, and I didn't I haven't checked on the website. Uh, when is the application due in January? Oh, what a good question. So it says on the website, and maybe that's the next thing we want to do quickly is go to the website. Uh, the same as last year, January thirty first, which I think is some kind of wacky day, but basically January 31st. And the message I want you to receive here is if you need more time, you can get more time. It's way more important to us that you be able to submit. Do tell us that you're submitting and do tell us that you need more time and that'll help us kind of try to figure out how do we distribute 
the submissions among the team members. So let's go, let's go to that website and let's take a look at and I wanna allow, yes. See if this and, work. and before you get this is Aaron. It, the 31st is a Monday, so it is that lucky day. Oh, so it's okay. So it's an all right day. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's say I'm at the stc.org website and I'm looking for the CAA and pay setter information. So I am in communities. Is this right, Aaron? We did this yesterday. There we go. So I'm in the communities menu and then I run for down. CAA, sorry, for CAAs under recognitions. Next tab over. Thank you. Honors and awards. CAA is under recognitions. I think we can also search for it. Recognitions, honors and awards. And our honors and awards, you can see what you already know. We've got tons of them. But down here in the community section, we've got community achievement awards. And we'll go ahead and I'll open that in its own tab and then Paysetter Award. So the application, you can open up the application right from there. Now, and you know the drill on this. Uh, this is a Google form. And so Google's our friend. We've done it many times. And you just fill out your information. You probably want to, as it says here, to go ahead and set up uh, you know, a Word document or something like that, and then copy from the Word document. That way you're you have a record of what you submitted, which is great. And how do I get this thing out of my way? There it is. Okay. So that's the Pace Setter Award, relatively straightforward. And so we've got the Pace Setter Guidelines. I mean, sorry, this now we're in the Community Achievement Award, CAA. Uh, you can read over the guidelines. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and do that. There are PDF. And the summary of the changes are right up front. And we've already talked about those, so I'm not going to belabor this. And then the application, this is a Word document that you can download. And then we have the fabulous Community Achievement and Pay Center Awards Committee. So we have five brave volunteers plus Lori plus Aaron. So um, I'm the chair this year, but we also have Ruth Ann Clausen. Uh, you may know her as one of our intrepid students from previous years. And now she is representing the new professionals, I believe. Tavia Record, uh, you may know her from the Washington, D.C., Baltimore Metropolitan Chapter. Angie Dianetti, you may know her from Ohio. And Susie McGowan, you may know her from, I believe, all of the uh, community of practice, community of interest. I know she's very involved in the technical editing SIG. So, and there's room for your name. Um, if you would like to see behind the curtain, if you would like to find out what are other communities submitting, how do they submit, uh, what does their submissions look like? Um, if you have thoughts about how to change the process for the better, I got a volunteer job for you. We would love to add you to the CAA and Pace Center awards committees. So let, let me get, just give that little commercial first. All right. Well, that is the end of my spiel. Um, now it's time for more questions. We did have some questions uh, during the presentation, but I would love to hear. Okay, we've got things in the chat. Okay, so we're talking about the CAC Open House, going to be sometime in January, and a link in the chat. Thank you, Lori. And the applications are due Monday, January 31st. If, unless you ask us for an extension and then of course you'll get it because we want you to submit because we want to see what kind of awesome things you did and what kind of awesome volunteers you had 
and the great things that you did for the profession and for our communities and for STC as a whole. So get out there and rock on, people. Yeah. Uh, any other questions about um, these awards at all? Thank you, Marcia. That was what I was going to just state. I just fibbed. It was a Tuesday. <laughs> I looked too quickly. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even look at my calendar. I should have checked it. Um, but yeah, thanks for that correction. Um, I think it was so any, this year. Any other questions? Ask away. Um, we'll give you just a minute or two here to submit your questions. And um, if there are none, then we will um, we'll wrap it up. If you have more questions, uh, we are keeping an eye on Slack. We are having the CAA Paysetter conversations in the leadership channel. Mm -hmm. And if you need to figure out how to get on Slack, go to the STC website and then in the little search, just put Slack and it'll show you how to get signed up for Slack. Um, if you haven't used Slack before, it's a pretty cool little tool. It runs on your phone. It runs on your desktop. It'll run in a browser. You can tag people. You can ask questions. Um, it, it's a pretty dynamic thing. You can share. We can share links. We can share files. Uh, you'll definitely get an answer to all of your questions and maybe some cheerleading to go with it. So. Okay, I don't see any more. Um, I don't see any more questions in the chat. So, last call, and we'll wait a few seconds if there are no other questions. Shall um, I show my fancy pants? So, sure, if you like. <laughs> we we are we are recording this webinar on uh, the eighth of January. I'm mean, January, the eighth of December. And uh, that makes it Advent for people who celebrate like I do. And so it's fancy pants season if you have fancy pants. You should get them out of the closet and start wearing them. Okay, uh, no more uh, questions in the chat. So I think we're ready to do a wrap up here. Um, so Vicki, we cannot thank you enough um, for this presentation. I think you've made a very positive and encouraging presentation here. And I do encourage everybody, all community leaders to consider applying for these awards um, because there's nothing, and no matter what level of award you get, they're all good. So don't worry that you have mm -hmm. to be platinum all the time or anything just uh, an award is a form of recognition and it's very very valuable so um so please do when the recording arrives you know maybe take another look at it and get a refresher and vicky is always available now i am the chair of the community affairs committee and i am the board liaison to the caa committee so i'll be working with vicky over the coming months um, please feel free to, um, you know, reach out to me as well, and you know, I'll communicate that information to Vicky. Uh, any questions? Anything that needs clarification? Um, so yeah, so go for it, really. Um, so uh, we will wrap up now with with my sincere thanks and. Um, You'll be hearing from the CAC about the open house in January sometime, and we'll be thrilled if you could join us. It's going to be mostly a social event with, you know, a positive, fun spin on things. You'll get to meet our terrific team. We're small, but we're terrific. Um, so, uh, yeah, so please do join us. And one of our team members has fur and four paws, so you'll get to meet her as well. So... Once again, thank you so much. We are very, very grateful for your presence here. And, you know, keep your eye out for notice about additional webinars coming up in 2023. So once again, thank you, Vicki. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you all. And one last thing, after this process is done, we're gonna recognize, we have plans to recognize the pace header and the um, 
CAA Awards in the same way we did last year at the honors reception at the summit and then also yeah. at our leadership program with PCAC. So look for announcements for those coming up in the spring as well. Yeah, yeah. And I'm really looking forward to that because recognition is my favorite thing. So <laughs> I love to see people get recognized for their hard work because most of us work full time and we do this on top of that. And that's a can be a big challenge, but it is so appreciated. It really makes a difference. So thank you all. Well, I guess that's it then.